Hi guys, it's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. Thank you for joining me. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what happens when one of our animal companions passes, crosses over to the Rainbow Bridge unexpectedly, when we are not anticipating it, not expecting it, and the things that we wish we would have said to them and how we can still connect with them. So for those of you who may be catching me for the very first time, my name is Elaine. I'm an animal Reiki master, and I help people prepare for and cope with pet loss. I also help overcome some of the traumas we experience with our animal companions, and I try to help people have better relationships with the animals who share their life, the animals both here and those on the Rainbow Bridge. And today's story is inspired by my Winston, not just my Winston. There are so many, I get so many wonderful stories from you guys and so many wonderful questions. And I talk a lot about, I want to change the, shift the whole narrative that we have around the passing of our animals and around death in general. And I would love for us to be able to help our animal companions make this a beautiful experience for them as they transition into their little spiritual life. Um, but for now, we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be using Winston as my example. So my Winston crossed in August of last year, and um, I had him cremated. These are his remains. That's a video for another time. Um, and I also want to show you his little, a little uh, impression, ink, ink impression of his paw print. And I also keep a little bit of him right here in, in this pendant um, because I like to have the idea. I love the feeling of having him close to my heart. Even though I know he is always with me in my heart, this just offers me a little bit of comfort. Um, and we can talk about that another time because I have some, some ways that you can actually memorialize your animal that help you um, keep and, and retain that connection with them, that spiritual connection. But I want to share you the story about, of Winston because Winston crossed unexpectedly. Not, un not entirely unexpectedly, but he crossed at a time that I was not prepared. And you, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I share the story of Lucy. Lucy was my 13-year-old black lab. She crossed in August of last year as well. Yeah, there's a link there. She crossed in August of 2020, and her crossing was planned. She had uh, developed some serious illnesses associated with her aging, and it was a beautiful, peaceful transition that her, I, and the veterinarian planned together. And her crossing was so beautifully peaceful and it was wonderful to be a part of it and to be there to support her, to let her know she was safe and loved and cared for and going to someplace glorious. And her actual crossing was so beautiful and peaceful. Um, and then a week later, I came home one afternoon and Winston had crossed. And I did not anticipate it at all because I thought Winston and I had a deal. So let me tell you a little story about Winston. Winston was a little bit, see, it still makes me emotional. And emotion is fine. Emotion is wonderful. It is, it, we, we have emotions for a reason. Lean into them, feel them. Winston was a rescue. Um, I rescued Winston about, he had, was with me for two years, two and a half glorious years that I got to spend with him. Uh, he was very old when he crossed. We think he was about 11 or 12, King Charles Cavalier. He was the biggest snuggle bug. He was my soulmate. He was my companion, my constant companion everywhere he went with me. Um, and he had been abandoned. He had been abandoned because, we suspect, because he had some serious health conditions. He had congestive heart failure. He had a grade six heart murmur, which means that we could feel it outside of his little body beating when his heart beat out of rhythm. He was also deaf. And he was left on my doorstep. When I took him to the veterinarian for medical assistance and to see what was what, um, the veterinarian determined quickly how sick he was and said he may not even make it through the night. And if, I, if he lived for another couple of weeks, that I should take it as a blessing. Well, he, he said, take him home, feed him a cheeseburger, love on him all night long, and let him know that, um, that he's got, at least got somebody there loving him in the last moments of his life. Well, I think it was the cheeseburger that did it. It was like the magic pill. And um, he not only made it through the night, he lived with me for, a net, for, he gave me the honor and the blessing of being part of my, my life for the next two and a half years. And when he crossed, I was so upset. I was actually angry at him. 
And that's a that's an, a vi another video you can watch. Um, check out the Ho Opono Pono video. That's for forgiving yourself, forgiving a veterinarian, forgiving your animal companion for leaving you. I was angry with him because I thought we had a deal. Um, doing what I do, helping animals transition. I've helped dozens of animals at the time of transition. Help them cross, help them recognize that they are in a peaceful, easy place, that it's so smooth and they're going to a place of pure, positive love. And I envisioned this for Winston and I. I got to experience it with Lucy, but I envisioned Winston just sitting in my arms as, as it was his time to cross and being there peacefully. And I pictured him passing in my arms and knowing that he was loved, surrounded by love and transitioning off into that beautiful space where they go. And it didn't happen that way. And I was so upset. But what I came to learn as I meditated on this, and yes, that is the way that I connect with animals. That is the way that animals come to me and share all this information with me. I have learned to set aside my cares, my worries, my fears, my stresses, quiet my mind and allow them in. And when I do, they share this information with me that I share with you. And what I learned from Winston was that he saw how easy it was for Lucy to cross. And so he left. Within one week of Lucy's crossing, he passed. And he did so. I know that he was at peace. I know that he felt no pain. Um, he continued to, I still feel even to this day, and we always do have access to their love. I know he's with me all the time. But I didn't get to say what I wanted to say. I wanted to hold him in my arms. I wanted to tell him things. I wanted him to know how much he was loved. I wanted to feel him as his breath left his body and flew to that beautiful space where he is now. And I didn't get to say these things. I didn't get to say goodbye. Yeah, see, even now, it still makes me a little emotional. I did not get to say goodbye. But we can. And that's what I want to help you with right now. So if you have experienced this, if your pet has died either unexpectedly or without you being present, there is still a way for us to connect with them. And I'm going to take you on this little journey right now. It's only going to take a couple minutes. So just bear with me for just a moment or two. Oh, as I take a deep breath, I'm going to take a drink of water. And I'd like you to get into a space where you're comfortable. So if you're driving or out and about right now, you can come back to this. But if you are in a space where you can sit down and follow along with me, five minutes is all it takes. I'm going to help you connect with your animal companion who has crossed so that you can tell them what you wish to say to them and they might have something to share with you too. Okay, so right now, wherever you are, as long as you're someplace safe. I would like you to get comfortable either sitting down or standing or lying down. I don't think you really want to be standing. You want to be sitting down or lying down. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, just a few comfortable deep breaths. Now, sometimes when we're in this space, we might have some difficulty quieting our mind. There's some chatter that goes on in our mind. So what I invite you to do is to visualize a beautiful bag, a beautiful velvet bag, a decorated bag, a paper bag, doesn't matter. And I would like you right now to take anything that's on your mind and place it into that bag. Any stressors, any worries, anything you've got on your mind, place it in the bag. And I would like you to, with your mind's eye, take that bag and let it rest under a beautiful tree. Just set it there under the tree. You can have it back in five minutes if you want it back. But for now, let that tree hang on to your worries and stressors for you. As you follow along, and I'd like you to breathe in a nice, beautiful, deep breath. And imagine that shining above your head is a beautiful light. It's a warm light, a beautiful light, a soft light. And let it fill your body with love. 
Just pull that light in through the top of your head. Feel it softly trickle into your body. Allow it to flow into your heart space. And as you breathe in again, let that love just trickle down your body, all the way down your arms, through your legs, down to your toes from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Let your whole body relax. And now I want you to imagine that you're in a dark room, not a scary dark room, just dark, absent of light. And in front of you, you can see a door. And you can see light around the edges of the door so that you know if you were to open the door on the other side that there would be something bright and beautiful. Now with your mind's eye, take a step forward towards the door, grasp the door handle, and open it. The light is so bright it's almost blinding, and I want you to take a step over the threshold of the door into the light and see that you have stepped into a beautiful field, a beautiful meadow. That bright light is the sun shining brightly on you. It's comforting, it's warm, it's beautiful. Step into the meadow. There may be birds, there may be a breeze, butterflies, tall grass. And in the center of the meadow is a beautiful tree. Oh, it's just glorious, all there, right on its own in the middle of the meadow. I want you to walk towards that tree. Walk towards the tree, and as you step under it, there's some shade. You still feel a breeze, and I want you to take a seat under that tree. Just sit there and take in all the beauty around you, and look off towards the edge of the meadow, there's a line of trees. And that's where the forest begins at the edge of the meadow. And now I want you to imagine that stepping out of the tree is your animal companion. They just take a little step out of the tree line into the meadow. They see you sitting in the middle of the meadow. They're not quite sure it's you yet, but they see you there as you see them. Take another tentative step forward and another step forward and all of a sudden they recognize you. They see you and they run through the field. Imagine them running through that field right to you. They run right up to you. Oh my gosh, they smother your face with kisses. They jump into your lap. They rest their head in your hands. Oh, it is so beautiful. They're so happy to see you. Nothing could make them happier right now than just to be in their presence. Oh, embrace them, love them, feel them. And now I want you to consciously sit with them in this meadow, under this beautiful tree. This is a magical moment and you can share with them anything you want. You can say hello. You can say goodbye. You can say, I love you. You can say anything. All of the things that you would have said to them had you been present when they passed. You can say to them right now, let your heart flow. Let your heart fill. Let them know how much they are loved. And now take in a nice deep breath and allow them to share with you They had things they want to say to you, too. They have things that only you would know. They share things that only you will hear. Stay with them here in this beautiful space for as long as you like. Just continue being with them, sitting with them, hearing them, letting them hear you but more than anything, sharing heart to heart this beautiful space. And when the time comes that you do wish to return to your little body and they wish to return to the field, 
know that you can come back to this meadow any time. Every person who listens to this has created their own unique personal meadow. It is special to you and your animal companion, and the two of you can come back here any time you choose. And as the little scene begins to dissolve, they scamper back through the meadow off into the woods, but not gone. They're always here for you. If that is the one thing they would all share with us, it's that we always are with them. They are always embracing us. And if you ever need to be with them, come back to this field. You can bring it back to mind any time, any place. Bring them back to mind. They will come to join you. And they will always have something to share. A message that's just for you. And now let the scene really fully dissolve. Just let things kind of fade away. Keeping that love in your heart. Feeling it still. As you begin to bring your focus back to your body, you might roll your neck, wiggle your toes, give a little stretch, and take in one nice cleansing breath. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I have a little tear here and there. <laughs> and don't worry, emotions are beautiful. They're perfect. You are perfect just as you are. Your animal companion is perfect just as they are here and on the Rainbow Bridge. I hope you had a beautiful, beautiful journey to connect with your animal. And as always, if you guys have any questions, I love to talk about the things that are important to you. Questions that come up, concerns you have, anything. No topic is off limits. Go ahead and put a comment in the comments below. Um, you can always send me a, a little message if you choose to, but I try to reply to everybody. Everybody who puts a comment, I try to give a personal reply. And um, lot of, lots of times, I you guys inspire me for the videos that we do. And as always, I'm supposed to say this, right? You're supposed to, if you please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell button so that you get a notification when I po post these videos. Um, give us a like. Let us know if there's any questions that you have because this helps get the message out there. This helps us. The animals have so much to share with us and this helps get the message out to everybody. All right, for now, have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening. Have a blessed day. May the animals light your way. Take care.